Bob Simons, one of the metallurgists here at Palo. We're here today to talk about annealing. Well, annealing is kind of an ambiguous topic. And what does that actually mean? It can mean a whole bunch of different things. It could be meaning taking copper and heating up to about 600 degrees Fahrenheit. It could be taking a stainless steel and heating it up to about 1950 Fahrenheit. So you have this big, huge ban on what annealing can mean. Well, in technical terms, what it means is that we're softening the material back up. It's in a hardened condition, from generally from manufacturing or from cold work, and you want to restore it back to its fully uh, annealed condition to where it's in the softest place it can possibly be. It could be that it's a, a forming, and going through that forming operation will cold work it, it will harden it up, and it just can't get that last forming operation in there. And at that point, you would do a process anneal to soften that material up so they can form it more. So there's a lot of different meanings on what the term annealing can actually mean. But technical terms, it just means that you're softening the material up. And there's the three main types of annealing are going to be your subcritical annealing. So what does that mean? That means that your temperatures are below the critical temperature of where you change from, from uh, ferrite to austenite, typically below about 1325 Fahrenheit. There can be an intercritical annealing. That's where you're annealing it before it's completely austenitic. In general terms, you're talking about things between 1450 and about 1550 Fahrenheit. So you're in that intercritical uh, location where you haven't fully austenitized the part and then you have your full annealing and that annealing is where you go through and completely austenitize the part and then you control the cooling. Annealing by definition is a controlled cooling so that you can solidify and precipitate out the, the carbon in specific matrices to put it in the softest possible condition that you can. If we want to look at something like stress relieving, most stress relievings can kind of fall into that annealing category, in the subcritical annealing category. Most stress relieves will be done between 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit and about 1275 Fahrenheit for ferrous-based type of materials. Now, the higher you go in temperature, the more effective that stress relief is going to be. But it could be that you don't want to take it much above 1,000 degrees because you don't want to lose some of the mechanical properties that you have. Or it could be a heat-treated component. H13 dyes is very common to give them a stress relief about 1,050 degrees Fahrenheit to help put them in a condition so they can go through and continue the work without actually influencing the heat treat parameters of that particular part. Hi, I'm Rob. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to know more about this subject, please feel free to reach out to us.